I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll, f we'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Gemini, the recent past energy between you and your person. We got the Ace of Wands and it's paired with the Five of Swords. Now the Ace of Wands indicates new beginnings. They're usually very positive ones. Could be in the area of work or accomplishments. Family, romance. If you're having a difficult time, just know that things are about to get better very soon. And I say very soon because if you can take a look at this Ace of Wands, it's the card above the word pass. It actually looks like it's sitting above the clouds, but nope, it's burst above the clouds. Really powerful, really fast. So like I said, if you were or if, you're, if you are having a difficult time, just know that things are about to get better very soon. This card, it depicts being upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about the future, with a really, really good cause. So, you're likely to be feeling quite energetic, positive, or you will be feeling that way. This ace, it tells you that now is also a good time to start something new. So, it's with the Five of Swords. Now, with this card, you could find yourself with some mixed feelings, maybe about life or a person or a few people in particular. Don't ignore these feelings, but you want to make sure that you don't speak every word that you're thinking and feeling either, because that could ruin the very things that you want the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends, with your lover. So... You're going to have to think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. It's about picking your battles. So, what I'm getting for the recent past energy, like I said, the Ace of Wands, and it's clarified by this Five of Swords. So, there was someone that you wanted a new beginning with, and it looks like you got it. It probably happened fast. Maybe it was someone that you knew, or maybe it was someone that someone new came towards you. So you got this great new beginning with your person. It could have been a lot of passion, because the wand the wands are about passion. Maybe it was passionate in the beginning, or it just was passionate, plain and simple passionate. But it was a new beginning that you wanted. And it felt right, because the Ace of Wands are very positive. But it looks like something happened, whereas this person started to really make you mad. And then you started to get mixed feelings about the person or the connection. So, let's move on over, because that's a recent past energy between you and your person. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Devil card. And it's with temperance. Now, with the devil card, you have to remember that no matter what your situation is, that you always have options to choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, you want to be sure that you're coming to it on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions you feel are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You could have the feeling that you're not in control of your life. Now, this will sometimes happen as a result of our own actions, but more often it's a byproduct of inaction. So take action, whatever steps you can, to give yourself the feeling, however small, of being in control. Even if it's merely a choice on what you're going to have for dinner, because small baby steps, they're important. Very important, too. Now, it's with temperance. Now, with this card, although your relationships there, they could be going quite well, but you may need to look at any deep personal issues, deep personal issues, and see if or how they're standing in your way. And if they are, 
how to work through them and integrate them. Because the ideal is to do what it takes to find balance in your in yourself and in your relationship. And with any goals and aspirations that you might have. So, Gemini, coming up for you and your person. Like I said, the devil card clarified by this temperance. So, like I said, um, you got this new beginning with someone. And things happen. Things just kind of like something happened, which I don't know if your person said things or they started to do things that just made you mad. Not very happy. Yeah, so. Yeah, sorry about that. I had a, um, Interruption. So, yeah. Anyway, your person with this devil card here, they, they did have a lot of, some type of toxic type of energy that they bring to the connection. Because the devil card can be about addictions, jealousy, greed, envy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust. Um, alcoholism, drug abuse, addictions. We all know what that is. Or maybe just some devil energy. Toxic. Bring, they like to bring a lot of toxicity to the mix. And you're not all about that life. No, because we've got the temperance here. It, it's saying that you're into finding balance or having balance or peace of mind. Yeah. Yeah, you need you're the type that need balance in your life. Or for some of you, you're realizing that you need to pull away and bring the balance back into your life. Cause this person is it's always making you angry. And then you you're dealing with your devil energy. You're dealing with the toxicity that they bring to the connection. So we move on over and we take a look and see what's coming up for the challenge. We have the Knight of Swords ends with the Eight of Wands. Now the Knight of Swords, it's showing that it, it brings a fairly upbeat, cheerful type of energy. It can mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. It can also point to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, well, you're likely to like what you hear. The Knight of Swords can point to activity, travel, being out and about, getting things accomplished, so you're unlikely to feel like waiting for anything to come to you. Yeah, this person goes after their heart's desire. Now, it's with the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is showing that you could have a lot of things up in the air. You could feel tired and frustrated of waiting. This card, it indicates that you do have to be patient a while longer. You've probably done all that you can do. Now decisions, they have to be made by other people. So when this card appears, nothing seems to be moving ahead. But don't try to force it because it could backfire on you. Just know that sometimes our actions are all in the wrist. You've all you've done all that you can do. Now all you can do is wait. You put your best out there. Now you just have to wait. So the challenge, Gemini, for you and your person, Knight of Swords, clarified by this Eight of Wands. So what I'm getting is that it looks like your person they see that. Um, you're, you're upset. They see that you're in a different, you're trying to 
bring balance back into your life or you're just being different and they come rushing in they're trying to make things right or try to sweep you off your feet because that's what the knight of swords does yeah this person the knight of swords you see how he has a huge sword in his hand it's a card above the word challenge yeah this person comes rushing in they'll cut out anything that gets in their way so it's with this eight of wands which is indicating they're trying to reach out to you a lot of communication is coming in could be back and forth or just them blowing up your phone yeah they're trying to make things right they know something's different you're different things are off and you're always upset so that is a challenge now we're moving over and we take a look and see what the outcome is we got the five of wands and it's with the world card now the five of wands can refer to competition could be work romance but it sometimes can refer to romantic rivals so don't be afraid of competing know that you have something to offer and you can be successful but the thing is that you're gonna have to try just to see results so when this card appears your need to believe in yourself is gonna have to be stronger than ever so hold your head up high have faith that you'll end up in a place that's right for you you could be thinking of making a career change know that you can be successful at that too but like I said the need to believe in yourself is gonna have to be stronger than ever now to the world card the world card is actually about completion you've worked hard you're almost to the finish line in some way so don't quit now because you're so close you could feel like you need some well-deserved rest relaxation don't be afraid to take it even if it's just time to yourself because you're getting closer and closer to who you really are at your deepest levels now when it comes to work there's a good chance that you could be working too hard for far too little recognition and money it's important if this is the case to toot your own horn a little just to make sure that the powers that B don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments so the outcome for you and your person Gemini yeah it looks like like I said your person they're reaching out to you yeah they want to talk they want to communicate but it's just up in the air you're not really responding yeah your person makes you mad looks like a lot of times and you realize that they're very toxic yeah I don't know if they've got addictions but yeah you see them as very toxic and like I said you're not about that life so the outcome is showing that you gotta close the chapter with this person because the world card can be about the end of a journey you're completing a cycle yeah And because it's with the five of wands yeah it's it was too much of a struggle for you like I said you're not about that life yeah these five men men up there they're battling each other and then you got the one man off to the side he's just looking and enjoying it and that's kind of like like your person they didn't do enough to keep it going when they are when things were difficult they just kind of watched yeah you, you don't want the struggle so you're closing the chapter with this person it's the end of a journey the cycle is completed so that is the reading that I have for you Gemini I hope you enjoyed the reading I hope it resonates as you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. 
I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Gemini. I hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass, and we'll all get through this. So stay strong, take good care of yourself, come back and join me for the next Gemini reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, for the readings, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, your person could actually be a friend. Could be a family member or it could be a situation. So take the readings for however it resonates. And yes, the roles can be switched. You could be your person or your person can be you. So I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.